Um, here with Duncan Gibbett. Um, to start with, tell us a little bit about um, what the plan is for Sunday. Actually, for Sunday, I can say that uh, I haven't planned anything, but I'm hoping to do better on Sunday. Uh, what would you come away happy with? With a personal best time. Yeah. How do you go into? What do you think going into a race? How do you go in uh, planning to beat Haley? Actually, it depends on the training that we've done back home, and I think the training we've done is uh, a very good training, and uh, we saw that when Kwambai ran the 40th half marathon, and he did something very good, and we've been training together all along, so I think um, when it comes to Sunday's case, uh, if I stay behind Haile, then definitely I'm going to do good. Talk us a bit about uh, Rotterdam. There's a big breakthrough. Um, how did it pan out for you? Actually, when I ran Rotterdam, I think it has changed my life completely. It changed everything and uh, people back home were like, no, Duncan is, uh, is a big man and you know, they were a little bit scared and I was like, no, you shouldn't get scared of me, I won't change. It's only that the status changed, but me, I won't change completely. I'll just be with you guys. We'll sit down together, we'll take tea together and we'll do all that together. Were you surprised? I was. I was surprised because I didn't expect to do what I did. What do you think uh, caused that? What do you think it was due to? Actually, what I was thinking of doing is that I was trying to run maybe 206 low or 205 high. All right. Um, and uh, tell us a bit about um, your chances of running a world record now. Actually, the chances of running a world record, uh, there is that capability because if I'm away by around maybe 28 seconds, then if I try to uh, to stay by highly because he's going for the world record, then I think we can do it. Um, you paced Haley in 2008. What was that like? Actually, that time I had not trained very well, but uh, I paced for 25 kilometers and I, I saw it was really good. Um, tell us a bit about um, who, who did you look up to um, when you started running? Actually, I was you know, whenever I was in training, I was thinking of these guys, Moses Tanui, Daniel Komen, even Haile himself. I was like, maybe one day, one time, I'm going to be like these guys. What was it like breaking Turgat's Kenyan record? Yeah, it was kind of a... It's a good feeling? For real, it was, because I didn't expect to do that. Yeah? Yeah. Um, and who do you reckon the greatest marathon is, the Ethiopian or Kenyan? Actually, for, for this case, I think uh, Haile has done a lot, and I respect him so much. All right. Thanks very much. You're welcome.